Uh, recording in progress. Hi, Cloud. Puede ser la, la respuesta. Uh, I do not remember. Uh, maybe two or three. Okay. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, That's okay. Or I non buy it. Uh huh. Oh. Cloud. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ah, entonces, hoy le tocaría a usted hacer la pregunta. Sí. Number two. Okay. How much crime is there in your town or city? Well, Ooh, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of crime, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's very. Unfortunately, busy. right? Unfortunately, right? Yeah. A lot of uh, crime. I, I can say. Maybe. Okay. Maybe a few crime. Or more. It's correct. It's more correct people. if I answer. Maybe a few. Yeah, you can you can say that. Uh, yeah, a few. Because I can't remember a number. Yeah, that's okay. You can say uh, some crime, I guess. Um, or, or just yeah, you can say a few crime. Few crime. Yeah. Okay. My turn, brother. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay. How many students are there last day? Around two. Entiendo que pregunta que cuántas veces dije adiós, eh, hola en el día. Eso no entiendo yo, pero no sé si lo estoy entendiendo mal. Seis, pero es. Seis, es decir, vea. Ajá. Sí, pero es usted. ¿Cuántas veces claro. dijiste hola hoy? Yes. No. I say hola. ten times. Ten times, ok. Um, pero, pero dije. I said. I said. said, 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 said ten ¿Cómo times. es? Ay, no, yo no le oigo. ¿Cómo es? De pasado, I, I, I said. Said. Um, I said hello. S -E S -A -I -D. Oh, Dios mío. S -A Take a look. Take a look. Look. Uh -huh. Ah, está. ya, está. ya. Hey, hey. Set, set, como, como de tomar set. agua. Set. Ah. All right. Ok. I said around. Le puedo poner porque no sé. Yes, yes, yes. Around 20, como digo, 20 veces. Ah, ok. That's a, times, times. Times. Mm, ok. Ah, pues sí. I said, I said around 20 times. Ok. Sorry. Okay. Vamos a orar esto. No, por la otra. Yes. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. El número 5. ¿Cuántos uh -huh. mensajes? How many languages? Ay, no, pues. apenas en español. <risa> no, pongamos los dos. No. ¿Por qué lo humillan a uno aquí? <risa> one language, only one language. But you can say I'm learning and learning English, you can say, right? I'm learning English. Right? Para darse, darse motivación, you know? I'm learning English. In process. It's, it's in process, correct. It's in process. <laughs> it's in process. I'm learning English. Okay, pues. Yes. Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Number six. Okay, six. How many televisions are there in your home? Mm. How many? Okay, how many books or magazines did you read last week? I read one book. One book. The title? 
That's a tricky pasa. question, sir. That's a tricky question. Pregunta capciosa. <laughs> but, but, you don't, but you don't know, Mr. Francisco, if she just read the cover, the cover of the book, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Muy bien. Entonces, no. She forgot already, don't worry. Bueno, I read, I read, read? Two, uh -huh, read uh, two books last, last week. Completely? About, about paleontology. Anthology, okay. Paleontology, two, two books. Okay. A complete books or just some chapters or some episodes? No, complete books. Uh, there are small ones. Okay, Only okay. 75 uh, pages. pages. Oh, yeah. Pages. Mm -hmm. That's good. A small one. Nice. I read not any book. Yo no leo ningún ningún libro por el momento. All right. Y Eduardo. Um, I'm just st uh, start the Obama biography, but uh, that's a good one. All right, it's a long one. <laughs> is that in English or Spanish, sir? English or Spanish? No, uh, in Spanish. In Spanish. Oh, okay, you should read it in English, boy. Okay. All right. Uh, well, what the other one? Uh, how many funny jokes do you know? <laughs> Chacarrillo, eh? Yeah. Uh, Chicling a lot. Chicling. <laughs> 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 How many? Uh, entonces, Francisco. 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 Condorito yeah. jokes. Chocolito, yes. <laughs> Entonces ahí, ¿cuál fue tu respuesta final? Me tardo una hora y media en llegar a clase. Pero que no, no entiendo si a eso se refiere la pregunta. Yes, yes, sir. Ah, ok. Mm. Hello. Hello, Entonces, teacher. Lo, lo voy a repetir para y que el teacher me corrija. Bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. I usually eh, at one very hours. All right. So I usually spend, perdón, or pass. Ah, sí. How many hours, money. you said? Uh -huh. ¿Cuántas horas, perdón? Una hora y media. Okay, one, an hour. Uh -huh. One hour. 30. In 30 minutes, you can say, but hay varias, hay varias formas de decirlo, okay? Mm -hmm. Usted puede decir, I usually spend, spend es pasar, ¿verdad? O gastar, o, okay, spend. Si usted se gasta el dinero, es spend your money. Si usted se gasta el tiempo, es spend time. Entonces usted va a decir, I usually, I usually spend an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, y ahí va. O puede decir, an hour and a half. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. Nice. It's okay. Ok. okay vamos a la siguiente. Miss, uh -huh. Miss Molina. How many languages uh, can you speak? Yes. El idioma de la fe. Es? But it's you. It's you. This internet me ha dejado mal casi toda la semana. Y dos días llevamos. Apenas, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, what, what's the question you ask, Mr. Mr. Caesar? I can. Uh, I can number speak uh, five. One. Ah, okay. I can speak, speak one language. language can um, speak? Si el idioma de la pupusa serían dos. De las pupusas. 
<risa> ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál idioma sale ahí? Solo el español. El de la P y el de la I. El idioma de la P. Y de la F. Se pone a Nepe, no pone a Nepe. Así se pone a estar. Así es, exacto. Ajá, entonces, si ese idioma cuenta, puedo dos idiomas. Ah, pues yo puedo tres. <risa> ah, lo puede también. Yo pues puedo hablar para Sipi. Que pero no porque pero ah, pues, no puedo Entonces, entonces yo hablo alto valirio también. Ah, está bien. Lenguaje de computación, eso cuenta. The Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That's good. That's good. Y anda ya si se queda de estos muchachos, ¿verdad? La esperanza. Es que como está lloviendo. El frío. El frío, cabrón. Nice. Ok. Vaya. Estaba bien mi respuesta entonces. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Ok. Ok. Vamos. Hello. Hello teacher. Hello, teacher. I guess I guess you finished already. Am I correct? Yes. Woo. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. Yes. Long time ago, I've been there. All right. Let me ask you some questions over here then. Um, let's see here. Number 10 for you, sir, uh, Mr. Jimenez. Okay. Number 10. How much water did you drink today? And then Mr. Margarita will take notes. All right, Miss Margarita. Three liters. <laughs> Ahí tiene la doc, doctor in here, you know, para que nos regañe. <laughs> yes, sir. How many? Uh, Two liters. Plus. Two liters say my Margarita. <laughs> All right. Two liters, all right, or three? Yes, two liters. Three? That's great, all right, that's great. Now, what about you, Miss Portillo? Same question. How many glasses of water did you drink today? Or how many liters of water? No. In class, uh, medio, medio liter. Half, half liter, half Pero a liter. In, in 24 hours, Two and three liters. Two or three liters. All right. Yes. Two or three liters. That's great. Ahora me recordó, voy a tomar agua. <laughs> Sorry about it. Uh, it's, it's raining a lot, right? It's raining a lot. I can yes. see that. Yes. All right. Now, vamos a it's ver raining. si la dieta está de acuerdo con lo, la bebida. ¿verdad? Number five. Number five. <laughs> How much food did you eat this morning? All right? And be 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 sincere, please. I can say sincero. Be sincere. Mr. Jimenez. Or or yeah. Uh, uh, this morning I put a lot of food. Okay. Do you remember what you what you ate? Yes, I remember more brief. Much bread. Okay, bread. Yes, bread. Uh huh. What else? Um, coffee. Okay, a cup of coffee maybe, or two cups of coffee. Yes. Um, only this. Estoy anotando, teacher. Ah, you're, yeah. <laughs> too much, you know, too much carbohydrates. Mucho carbohidrato, verdad? Too much yeah. carbohydrates. I can see that, yeah. right? De hecho, mi, my rule is only to eat three uh, pieces of bread. Eso es lo que como yo, solo tres porciones de pan fresco de los normales, chiquitos. That's uh -huh. what I do. And only, yeah, one tor and only one tortilla, all right? For each meal. Trust me. Sí. Aunque me quede con hambre, pero that's what I do. <laughs> Tome <laughs> leche, mita, oh, protein. Ah, ok. Con protein. caparina. Ah, ok. Nice. Eso tomo en la nice. mañana. Bueno, ya, ya le debo 15, 10 dólares, 15. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so welcome back, everyone. I'm sorry, I um, closed the, the uh, breaker rooms because we need to practice as a class. All right, it's raining a lot. Trust me, it's raining cats and dogs, okay? Uh, let me ask you some questions over here, All right. I will choose some of you uh, randomly. Voy a elegir algunos de ustedes al azar para 
practicar estas preguntas. Vamos a ponernos bien los audífonos para poder escuchar. All right. So I'm going to choose the next person in here. Um, Mr. Oscar Fernando Gamero. Hello. Hello, sir. All right. The first question for you, sir. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Okay. I have one brother and two sisters. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So you are four in total. Four in total. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm the mayor. You're, you're the older bro you're, you're brother. The older bro yes. The older. Okay. Thank you. Just mute your microphone, please. Next student in here. Uh, Miss... Let's see, Miss Elizabeth. Yes, sure. Okay. Miss Elizabeth, please, would you speak up? We, we got two Elizabeths over here. We have Karina Elizabeth and then we have the other one. <laughs> so it's oh. not you, Miss Karina. Well, we gotta wait. Okay. Okay. Or, bueno, creo que no me escucho. Eh, uh, so go ahead, please, Miss Karina Elizabeth. So, uh, how many pets do you have? Number three. How many <laughs> pets do you have? <laughs> I have a lot of pets. Really? Nice. I, I'm glad yeah. I asked you. Que bueno que le pregunté. I'm glad I asked. <laughs> I <laughs> have three dogs. Okay. <laughs> I have three birds. Okay. And three turtles. <laughs> three turtles. Now, let me ask you, what are their names? Your ducks, your turtles, and your birds, their names. Let's see if you know. Their names? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and the pets, uh, the dogs, sorry. Uh, Doki, Laika, and Lassie. All right. Very, <laughs> very famous name, Laika, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Lassie. And the okay. birds, Luna, Chimuelo, <laughs> and Cody. <laughs> okay. And, and the turtles, I didn't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> no, Godzilla is the, the, the biggest. Godzilla. But the others too, I don't know. <laughs> Godzilla, you said? Yeah. All right, so are they alive? I mean, the turtles? No se le han muerto uh, las tortugas? Are they, are they alive? <laughs> no, no, but they... Se esconden? They hide, hide. They hide. hide. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna choose someone over here, all right, with the following question. Uh, Mr. Uh, Miguel Jimenez, sir. Yeah, tell me. Okay, how many, number eight, how many funny jokes do you know like an uh, estimate right yes i know a lot of uh, jokes <laughs> nice nice that's what i asked you i thought you knew all right okay okay and i wasn't wrong right yes all right. Wrong. chiclines or the other types of jokes the gallegos or different ones um uh, jokes, uh, yes, uh, gallegos or uh, uh, comedy. Uh, okay, okay. Channel of comedy, yes. All right, all right. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. All right, so now uh, let me ask the last question to somebody here. Uh, I will ask my friend uh, this one, all right? Number three, how much money did you spend yesterday? Okay. And the next person will be. Um, Miss Carmen Hernandez, if you could help us. Yes, 
Yeah. Do you remember how much money did you spend yesterday? Yes, I remember maybe I spent about $20. How much is it? $20. $20. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot. All right. Yes, yes. I know, but I have a, a daughter, and so I have oh, okay. a, for yes. another thing. Yes. Other things, right? Like Mother's Day. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, so thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to ask a question that is not in there, but I will ask to uh, Miss Susana Hernandez in here. How many uh, cups of coffee did you drink yesterday? Okay, miro, miro que está tomando café, creo. So how many cups of coffee did you drink yesterday? Uh -huh. <laughs> yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, I think three cups of coffee. And today, how many? How many have you taken today? Today, uh -huh. three, three, two. Three, two. Three. Right. Maybe, maybe four. Yes, maybe four. <laughs> no, 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 there, Only three. Three, three. three. Okay. Only three. Only three. All right. Thank you so much. Excuse me. I can. No me había fijado que tenía el micrófono apagado. Lo siento. No, no. I, I was able to hear you. I was able to hear you. Right. Thank you. Nice. So let's move on, everyone, with another exercise that I have for you. All right. I have another exercise for you about this count versus non count. Uh, words and this one is going to be a writing activity that I think you're going to enjoy. Creo que esta va a ser una actividad que les va a uh, parecer interesante. And let me share the screen with you. Let me just one second. All right. Aquí tengo las diapositivas ya listas para poder mandárselos. Eh, let's do this first. All right. We're going to do this. Okay, I'm going to make this bigger. So what I'm going to share with you, hold on. Vamos a esconder esto. Is the following. So basically what you have to do is to identify if the word about food is countable or uncountable. For example, we have bread, burger, meat, rice, apple, cereal, butter, fish and so so other ones. Esto solamente es una imagen por cuestiones ilustrativas, hay más palabras ahí, ¿verdad? Juice, jam, salad, milk, cookie, soup, carrot and coffee. So, you got to click on the arrow in there and choose between countable and uncountable. Solo tiene que elegir, ¿verdad? De las opciones ahí del drop down menu that you have in there. All right? And that's what I'm going to send uh, to you right now. Eso le voy a compartir en un instante. Just give me some time over here. Okay? Give me some time so I can share this with you. Uh, and this is supposed to be done individually. Esto sí va a ser de forma individual. And if you want, please share your answers with me. Y, lo, y les pido, si gustan, comparten las respuestas con mi persona. All right? Please. Okay, so I'm sending this to you. And there you go. I, I will not send you to a break room, pero para esto sí no lo voy a mandar a un break room because I think this, this is like a quiz, que sea como un, un quiz corto, ¿verdad? Un laboratorio corto para, para esta noche de esto. All right? And let me share the screen with you again. So open the, the, uh, the material, please. Abramos el, el documento, por favor. Bueno, de hecho es, es un enlace. So open it up, please. And let's visit uh, the uh, the place in there. All right, visit the place in there. Right. Let me share the screen right now with you. Comparto pantalla en estos instantes. Permítame. There you go. So basically, what you have to do is to choose. Uh, hold on. Let me make this bigger. All right, that's better. Vamos a ampliar esto. So either count, en chiquita hasta la letra, right? Count or un, or non count. And you do the same for the rest. Okay, just like this, all right. And right now, my friends, we're just going to do the practice number one, verdad? Por cuestiones de tiempo, solo hagamos 
practice number one because this one has a lot of tense. Okay. Once you finish everything, no importa, verdad? Si no termina todo lo demás. By the way, you don't have to do the rest. No tiene que hacer ejercicio número dos, like two, three, four, and five. Just work on number one, please. This one. When you finish, you click where it says finish. Literalmente, verdad? Le va a dar dice finalizar. Click where it says check my answers and go on to the top. And if your answer is correct, se la va a marcar en verdecito, right? In green, if your answers are correct. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let me give you until 9.30, all right? Right now it's 9.20, 26, like four or three minutes to do this exercise practice. Okay, one second, please. All right, so you have three minutes to do this, please. So let me share the screen with you right now. And here we go. Okay, three minutes. Okay, so one more minute, please. All right, so I got some responses already. All right, so can I have uh, one volunteer, please, that can help me uh, do the uh, first column, you know, the one on the left. Algún voluntario que me ayude a hacer la columna de la izquierda, por favor. The one on the left, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead, sir. All right. Brett, tell me, please. Uh, Brett, it's not calm. 
Okay, burger. Uh, cone. All right, so let me, just, let me just refresh the screen over here. Vamos a refrescar la pantalla para que no me aparezca así en rojito. All right. Okay, so here we go. Um, so, bread, you say, you said non count burger. It's count. Count, okay. Meat. Meat, not count. Rice, okay. not count. Right. Apple, count. Count. Cereal, not count. Okay, non count, you said. All right. Butter. Burger. Not gone. Okay. Fish, fish is not gone. Mm -hmm. Orange is gone. Mm -hmm. And cheese not gone. No count. All right. No count your step in there. Count okay. your step in there. Okay. There so may I have a, a second so volunteer, 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 volunteer? Okay. okay. Mr. Oscar. Yep. Yeah. Juice. Uh -huh. No count. Jam. No count. Salad, count, milk, no count, cookie, count, soap, no count, carrot, count, coffee, no count, popcorn, not count, tomato, count, pizza, count. Microphone, please. Thank you. Right, I appreciate your help, Mr. Oscar. Uh, all right. So, popcorn. Um, popcorn. Um, you said no, no count. count. No count, count. Right. Okay. Yes. All right, so here we go. I, I guess we need to take a look at the uh, salad again, please. So is this count or non countable, sir? Salad. Can you say, can you give me two salads? Give me or two salads? Count. Or, or, okay, so you said it's count. All right, we'll see you right now. <laughs> Steer. Uh, but we're, we're not going to count. Uh, we're, we're not going to. Uh, yeah, this is a part of yeah. this. Right? Correct. I'm sorry. Uh, what about egg, sir? Is it Oscar? F. Ah, okay, uh, count. Okay, water. Okay. Water. Water, no count. No count. Tomato. Count. Tomato. Tomato is count. It's count, correct. And the last one, count. pizza. And the last one, pizza. Pizza, uh, count. All right, you say count over there. Yeah, right. uh, yes. Uh, I don't think so, but that's okay. Right? I'm gonna so, click with okay. this. Right? I'm gonna click with this. One. Check my answers. My answers. And dun, 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 dun. And dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So what happens? With, what happens is with pizza is that you can say uh, two pieces of pizza, but to be honest but with you, to be honest my with friends, you, my friends. Hold on. Boy, Okay. Just mute your microphone right now, please. Uh, actually, in pizza, you cannot say, give me two pizzas. All right. Uh, I mean, if you're talking about the complete, the complete uh, uh, pizza, right? If it's a big one or if it's a, a personal one, for example, or a small one, you can say, yeah, I, I need two pizzas, right? But if you want to say like the pieces, you need to say slides, right? Slides, a slice, a slice, sorry, a slice, you know, a slices. So how many slices of pizza uh, uh, do you eat? You may say, I eat three slices of pizza. O sea, si usted habla de que se come una pizza completa, una pizza completa, that's okay. In that case, it's countable, right? Pero las piezas en sí, ¿verdad? Las porciones, perdón. Las porciones, usted va a decir slice, right? A slice of, uh, of pizza, ¿ok? Por eso que aparece ahí que es contable, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad tiene que tener cuidado. And everything is correct. With salad, all right? With salad, actually, it can be both. Pero yo le he visto esto que es incontable, ¿verdad? Porque usted no dice, yo me voy a comer dos ensaladas. In English, you don't say that. You say, I'm going to eat green salad, right? 
or you say the other name of the salad. Okay, but you don't say salads. All right. Aquí este ejercicio yo lo saqué en línea y cuando lo hice por primera vez me di cuenta de un par de inconsistencias y entonces no quiero que se lleven la, la idea errónea de que esta palabra le van a agregar S. Please never add an S to salad, please. All right? Please. Ok. Si usted dice yo quiero ensalada, I need some salad, you would say. The rest, it's ok. All right? Like meat is uncountable. Uh, juice is uncountable or non-countable or non-count. Soup. Be careful with the pronunciation, right? Una cosa es decir, decir jabón and the other thing is, is, is to say um, sopa. Soup, O-U, sopa, soup. Jabón es S-O-A-P. O-A es jabón. You say soap, all right? Be careful. No, no va a decir, ¿verdad? Si usted viaja va a decir... Can I have two soaps? Le van a decir, aquí no vendemos jabones, right? Okay. So you gotta be careful with that. Trust me, it happens. It happens. All right? It happens in there. Nice. That being said, uh, let's finish this about countable nouns uh, right now. And we gotta do a, another activity, okay? Which has to do with a different topic. All right? It's a different topic. Now, let's talk about Obligations, my friends, ¿verdad? El pan de cada día de nosotros, ¿verdad? Nuestras obligaciones. You know, your, your uh, obligations at work and your obligations at home, all right? Nuestras asignaciones. De eso vamos a hablar en este momento, okay? Hold on, please. Um, I need to find the right screen first. Vamos a encontrar la, la, la pantalla principal. Okay, here we go. One second, please. It's 9.37. Uh, you know, it's almost time for us to, to finish this class. 20 more minutes and you're gonna, you're gonna be free. 20 minutos y lo logramos, okay? Uh, just one second over here. Tenemos un respiro. Porque ahorita vamos a cambiar, verdad, el otro lado del cassette. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do that right now. So, um, here we go, okay? We're going to close the class with a, with a listening activity and a conversation practice, all right, about this. We covered this last module, I remember, uh, talking about how to for obligations that you have at home and at work, okay? Obligaciones que tenemos, verdad, like uh, as a parent, as a professional, as a mother, as a father, as a brother, sister, as a son, as a daughter, right? Or the obligations that you have with uh your neighbors for example okay so basically this is just a verb es un verbo normal como cualquier otro but it's an irregular verb because if you say ella tiene que hacer tal cosa you have to say she has right you don't have to say she has no 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 you say she has let me underline that right ya estamos familiarizados con este tipo de verbo verdad esto es bien común if you say you have to travel, este tiene que conmutarse, ¿verdad? Para ir a trabajar. You have, okay, to travel. She has what? To travel, all right? And negative, of course, this is simple present. You say I don't have to travel. And a golden rule for English is in negative and in questions, the main verb does not change, never changes, right? En negativo y en preguntas, el verbo principal no le va a cambiar ni en presente, pasado, ni el famoso plus cuan perfecto, ¿verdad? Que de español. Never, right? Never. Okay, that's a golden rule, my friends. When you ask a question, you start with the auxiliary. Do, if you say, do you have to travel? Tiene que conmutarse, tiene que viajar, ¿verdad? Tiene que manejar. Tiene que levantarse temprano. Do you have to wake up early tomorrow? You can say yes, all right? Yes, all right? Se levanta temprano mañana, that's what I'm asking you that right now. But if you ask, uh, no sé, mi vecino se levanta temprano, right? Oh. So does he uh, have to travel? No sé, él va, uh, tiene que viajar, right? O tiene que trasladarse a su lugar de trabajo. Does he have to travel? This is how you start, right? Does. Over there. Okay. 
And this is just grammar and grammatica, verdad? Por cuestiones de estudio, decimos yes, or we say no, I don't, or yes, I do. Okay, o mezclamos todo esto y nos confundimos. But in real life, if I ask you, if I ask you right now, uh, I'm going to choose somebody over here. I will ask you a question. Vamos a hacerle una, una pregunta a, a un participante por aquí. Okay, somebody I haven't asked yet. Miss Zulma Gonzalez. Si me escucha, por favor, Miss Zulma. All right, so I guess you have problems with your connection motor. So I'm going to uh, ask um, Miss Anayansi, if you don't mind, please. Anayansi? Sí, teacher. Yes, all right. I'm going to ask you, uh, do you have to work uh, over the weekend? Do you have to work over the weekend? Yes. Okay, so yes, work is, yeah. the weekend. Okay. You work, yeah, in the weekend, right? Correct. Um, in, in, in real life, you just say yes to me, right? And that's okay. But in this case, it's, it's an obligation. You can also tell me, Ana Yancy, usted me puede decir, tengo que trabajar, ¿verdad? I have to. No solamente me va a decir, yo trabajo, ¿verdad? El fin de semana, sino que va a enfatizar que es una obligación, el hecho que es una obligación. ¿Ok? Right? Because it's an obligation, right? That we have to work most of the time. Ok. So, in your minds, my friends, let's try to complete... Uh, I'm sorry, this, these examples that I have in here. Uh, vamos a, we're going to do from one to five, just in your mind, please. We're not, we're not going to do it as a class. So, uh, so today is a holiday. I, Kai, I don't please. have to go to work. I don't have to go to work, correct? Because it's a holiday, right? It's a day off. It's Father's Day, right? It's Mother's Day, okay? I don't have to go to work, correct? And the question would be for, for number two, your sister, do or does? Anybody please? That's, that's your sister. That's your sister. Have to go to school today. Have to go to school today. And then number three, my mother, Doesn't. Yeah, in this case, you can say Our, my mother uh, doesn't have to go to the post office right now, or my mother has to go to the post office right now. It's not a specified, right? No está especificado si va a ser uh, negative or affirmative. So either one, it's okay. Cualquier caso está correcto. Number four, I. If you're a responsible student, you have to say, I have to study, right? Yes. But if you're already, but if you're responsible and if you're already study, you can say, I don't have to study, right? <laughs> because there's no need to study because you know everything already. Okay. Number five, do they? Mm hmm. Wow. Yes, Ms. Carmen. Do, oh, do they have to get up early every morning? Do they have to get up oh. early every morning? And you can say yes. They yes, do. they are. They do. They have. Uh, if it's a sure answer, we say yes, I do, or yes, you do, or yes, they do. Right? But if it's a complete answer, we have to say yes, they have to get up early. All right? Levant. En este caso es levantarse, ¿verdad? Despertarse es wake up, ¿ok? Ese despertarse ya el hecho de levantarse, dejar ya, ¿verdad? Su lugar de descanso es get up, ¿ok? Get up. Cuando le dicen póngase de pie, le dicen get up, please. Get up, ¿ok? Or stand up, people say that. Ok. Nice. That being said, we're going to practice a listening right now. So that's the, the, uh, the last activity that we have for the next 15 minutes. Okay, and I have it over here. And I'm sending this to you right now. All right, so thank you. Uh, if you share with me your uh, score, 
for the uh, previous exercise that we did. Gracias y compartió su score del ejercicio anterior. There you have the listening, everyone. All right, let's get familiar over here. Okay, let's get familiar with this. I'm about to share the screen with you. So just one second, please. En un instante le voy a compartir la, la pantalla, but just give me two, two minutes. Hold on. And. All right, I'm ready. <clears throat> Okay, so the first step to uh, complete a listening activity is to get familiar with what the listening will be about. Primer paso para hacer un, un, un listening un, un, de forma exitosa es familiarizarse con, con el contenido, ¿verdad? De lo que se va a tratar. Okay. So talk about your daily schedule starting from when you wake up until you go to sleep, ¿verdad? Mentalmente hagamos esa práctica, ¿verdad? What you do, uh, picture yourself, ¿verdad? Mentalícese, imagine that you wake up, you take a shower, and then you're getting ready to go to work, okay? And then right now you're studying English, and then in 10 minutes you're going to be free, okay? So what activities do you, do you enjoy? ¿Qué actividades usted disfruta? All right? Maybe drinking coffee, right? Maybe the English class, maybe sleeping in there, your lunch, your breakfast, or maybe working or driving. Si no hay tráfico, right? If there is no traffic, you enjoy driving. What is the busiest, busiest time of the day? ¿Cuál es el momento más ajetreado de su día? Okay, think about that, right? You don't have to answer that to me. No me tiene que responder. All right, so we have the options in here. And uh, can I have a volunteer, please? That can help me read the uh, questions and, and the options in there, please. A volunteer, please. Your teacher. Thank you, uh, Miss uh, Lasso. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, what does Susan have to do on Saturday morning? Leo la respuesta, mira, porque la opción Yeah, the options, all the options, ah. please. Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor, walk the dog, clean the house. Okay. Where does Susan have to go at uh, 12.30 uh, to science? Mm -hmm. Museum. Museum. Museum to school to the dentist. Mm -hmm. What time is Susan meeting with Julie? At 1 p.m., at 12 p.m., at 2 p.m. Okay. What will Susan do after she cooks dinner? Mm -hmm. Play soccer with her brother, call her friends, uh, clean the dishes. Mm -hmm. We come to watch a video at Susan's house. The TV isn't working. They, can, they can't decide on a video. Mm -hmm. Susan's mother is going to use it. All right, now, uh, what I'm going to, no, no, no. What you have to do, first of all, is to play it the first time to get familiar with this, all right? Please, you do it, please, individually. Hagámoslo, eh, reproduzcamos el, el, el audio, perdón, de forma individual, solo para familiarizarse con la idea principal. And then play it a second time to take the quiz. La segunda vez, si ya realiza las actividades. That's the best suggestion I can give you. But if you can do everything at once, go ahead. Pero si la una sola vez, no hay problema. I mean, no problem. Uh, right now is 9.50. Let me give you like three minutes to do this activity. All right? I'm going to play the, uh, I'm going to show the clock in there. Voy a, voy a uh, compartir el reloj para que usted mire el tiempo que tiene. All right? So do it individually, please. Hagámoslo de forma individual, por favor. Let's do it individually, please. Okay?
All right, so 30 more seconds, please. Once you take the quiz, uh, please share with me the screenshot, please. The screenshot, thank you. Nice. All right, so now that most of you are already finished, um, Mr. Edwin, just because you were the first one, would you help us with the answer, sir? No, ayuda con la respuesta, por favor. Help us with the answer, please, Mr. Seviano. Edwin. Yes, teacher. All right, so I'm going to share the screen for you right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so here we go. So what does Susan have to do on Saturday morning, sir? Yeah. Clean the house. Clean the house. Poor Susan, right? Yeah. <laughs> on a Saturday, it's right? Bad, That's it. bad weekend. <laughs> a bad weekend, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, where does Susan have to go at 12.30? Uh, to the dentist. <laughs> now she will go to the dentist. <laughs> so the date is getting worse. Está poniendo peor, or, or maybe better, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. Who knows? That's bad. Right? That's bad, right? So what time is Susan meeting with Julie? And two p at two p.m. Two p.m. Right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's the only good thing, right? So far. Um. Next one, what will Susan do after she cooks dinner? Clean the dishes. <laughs> you know, she, <laughs> she cooks and then she cleans the dishes, right? Yeah. All right. Okay, nobody help her, right? Nadie le ayuda. <laughs> okay, nobody help her. Okay, so why can they watch a video at Susan's house? Yeah. TV is broken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so TV isn't working, yes. either, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, poor Susan, right? So, all right. Just cleaning is her life, right? Solo esa su vida. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That was very good, by the way. That was a good, that was a good listening. You know, es un muy, muy buen listening, by the way, por cierto. Uh, so I want you to go to the, to the script, okay? And... We will practice this like in two, no, like in four minutes because we still have time. All right, let me share that with you right now. Les mando el acceso a la conversación y practicamos hasta las diez. All right, in four minutes right now. Uh, so one second me here. All right, so you got it, I guess. Test it. Prueben a ver si funciona, por favor. And then the, I'm going to open the uh, rooms right now. Uh, but first of all, let me share this with you. This is the uh, script in there. It's short. You can finish practice in here. Uh, and I will see you at, in three, four minutes. All right, nos vemos en, en las caras en tres minutos o cuatro minutos, okay? Thank you. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? La conversación. Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Okay. You start with the tip. Yes, I, I tell you, Susan. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Susan, do you have anything planned for this Saturday? Mm, I keen of busy. What do you ask? Oh, I was wondering if you like to get together. Uh, what do you have going on that day? Yes. My mom asked you me, me to help clean the yards in the morning and then I have a dentist appointment. Oh, Sam. Wow, sounds like you're going to have a full day. Hey, listen, why don't I come home later in the evening? And we can make some popcorn and watch a movie. Oh, that should be great, but our TV is working. Oh, well, to be really... Hello. Hola, hola. hello, hello, yeah, who's practicing over here? Elizabeth. Yeah, it was Elizabeth, hello. but she left, ¿verdad? Se fue. <laughs> <laughs> no solamente es la, la de la canción. ¿Quién es la que, la que se fue de la canción? Ella se fue. Pues. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Laura, 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 right, Laura, Laura, no está, Laura, 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 Oh, tell Siri, I can miss. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you're the so last. Much. You're the last group of, of the uh, for today. Uh, do you have any questions about pronunciation for me? Mm, abajo tenía yo dudas de cómo se pronunciaba. Ya le digo. Ay, ¿cuál era que le dije cómo se pronuncia? Ah, nos dice my mom mid is try to come up. Es la última, la última, sí. Yeah, okay. My mom qué? Ah, my mom might, might. Might. Ah, okay. Podría, podría, might. Ajá, might. De una, pero esta es por, podría de posibilidad, ¿ok? Uh -huh. My mom might. might try to come up with something else, ¿verdad? Se le podría ocurrir. All right, so Miss Miss uh, Sonia and Mr. Armando, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. yes, in, in that part, over here is, yeah, my mom might try to come up with, come up with, es, se le puede ocurrir algo más, come up with, ¿ok? Ok. All right, algo más puede surgir en ella. So I gotta okay. say goodbye uh, to you, uh, everyone. But uh, let's see who, who's who's supposed to stay to stay with me uh, in the class. Um, according to the to the planning, according to the programmation, Mr. Alfonso Alfonso. Porque qué? One on one sessions start right now. So. Um, Perdón, les comparto la pantalla, la programación solamente para que la tengan eh, a mano. Ya se los mandé al chat, ¿verdad? Y lo voy a volver a compartir esta noche para que usted lo tenga. ¿Verdad? Eh, and that's it. So, goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good evening, goodbye. everyone. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.
See you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow, Nancy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Tony, hold on. You didn't hear me. I want to know. No, no, no. <laughs> I have a problem with connection. You had a problem, yeah. All right. Um, puedo intentar poner la cámara. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I mean, if you have a problem, don't worry about it. All right. All right. I know it's you. I know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a question with um, the countable, no, um, non countable. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, repeat, please. The explanation. Uh, yes. Sure. Uh, here we go. Uh, Vale, se lo, se lo voy a eh, explicar, <coughs> perdón, con ejemplos. Ok. Ok, so the Golger rule is eh, bread, meat, rice, juice, milk. So words like this, like for food, like abstract ideas, like furniture. They cannot be plural, which means you, you cannot add S or you cannot add a A or an. No le puede hacer ni singular poniéndole una A o an, como decir mm -hmm. uno o una, ni lo puede hacer plural para decir jugos, así como en español. Pero en español jugos existe. Yes, sir. But in English you say, I need some juice. Use. Usted va a especificar qué tipo de jugo. Orange juice, apple juice. Oh. O el otro jugo bueno, güey. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the problem. In it. Es cuestión de gramática, nada más. Ok. okay. Um, but, if you don't want, if you don't want to make a mistake, the suggestion I gave you was to put, let's see, I'm going to find this, right? Uh, what is it? Aquí está. La recomendación es que le ponga o anteponga esto, some, antes de decir cada palabra que sea incontable. All right? All right. You have to say, I need some butter, I need some bread, I need some sugar, o si usted va a los, a los uh, I need some air, ah, necesito un poco de aire, necesito descansar, but I need some air, va a decir. Um, sure. What does it mean in Spanish, some? Some. Some. Algo o alguno. Algo o alguno. Ok. But sometimes, Mr. Tony Cabrera, I, ask, I think it's your last name, yeah? Yes. Ay, ay, no lo estaba viendo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, some is just like your appendix. Es como su apéndice, ¿verdad? Que ahí está. Mm -hmm. Solo ahí va. Solo va acompañando. Some. Ah, solo es. De adorno. Funciona. Está, pero no funciona. <laughs> sí. no, nos ayuda a que no nos equivoquemos. A que no okay. digamos... I need a bread. No, mejor digamos, I need some bread. Ah, pero no con no con. De hecho, lo puede ocupar uh, con cualquier palabra, verdad. Pero lo, lo ideal es que para que no se equivoque con los non countable. Usted dice, yo necesito algo de café o necesito café. I need some. I need some coffee. Some coffee, right? Oh, I si need usted, some milk. I need some milk. Oh, si usted dice, ah, necesito música, verdad? I need to listen I need some... or some music, right? Some music, okay. Some music. If they say, ah, yo tengo, uh, yo tengo tarea, verdad? I have some... Homework. So homework to do, right? Uh, uh, y ya si usted lo quiere decir plural, le va a agregar el, a lot of, verdad? La palabra... Mm, el, la palabra que vimos ayer. Ajá, this one over here, a lot of. Esta aplica con cualquier palabra. A lot of, a es, lot of. Usted es puede... mucho, es mucho, bastante, bastante o más, bastante, algo así. Bastante. bastante. Correct. A lot of. A lot of. Eh, por ejemplo, usted dice, la clase tiene mucha información. The class has. The class has a lot of. A lot of information. Correct. A lot of information. Ok. Ok. Cuando, cuando usted pide información que va al punto seguro del, 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 del seguro social, ¿verdad? 
<risa> sería, I need some information va a decir usted. Yeah? I, need I need some information. Ok. Entonces, en la práctica, esto, estas palabras se entienden fácilmente, ¿verdad? Pero en teoría lo confunden a uno un montón. Ok. Eh, cuestión de gramática. Exactly. So, if you want to say, uh, uh, how many, aquí está, ¿verdad? La pregunta es, how many, ¿verdad? El how le va a poner, ¿verdad? How. How, ¿verdad? How. Vamos a poner aquí. H-O-W. Correct. H-O-W. O-W. How many brothers do you have? How many siblings do you have, Mr. Cabrera? How many siblings do you have? Like brothers and sisters, if you have. Le pregunto, de hecho. Uh -huh. So how many brothers do you have, sir? So how many? How many brothers? ¿Cuántos? Oh, two brothers. Two brothers, so, okay. Two sisters and one brother. And one brother. So you have, you can say I have three siblings, que son hermanos y hermanas. Y luego usted puede especificar. Okay. I have two brothers and one sister. O de una sola vez usted me va a decir, ¿verdad? O me va a decir Ketting, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí. Ketting. <laughs> Ketting. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. But it, that's in real life, ¿verdad? La gente no le pregunta eso, al menos que sea algo, no sé, de, de que le preguntan en la empresa, una entrevista, ¿verdad? Pero solo para ejemplificar, para que no se nos olvide, ¿verdad? Y espero ah, que okay. no se olvide esta pasadita. <risa> no, I'm serious. No hay problema. No te preocupes. Entonces, de ahí decimos, how much? Usted dice, ¿cuánto dinero tengo? Mm, ah, triste que ni, me, ni quiero revisar, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, no, mejor no. Mejor se desanima no. uno. Sí, se desanima. <risa> ya viene el fin, viene el fin. Es que faltan Pero, como 7, 8 días. I know. <risa> All right, so, and that's the difference. You say, how much? Y va a decir usted, how much? ¿Cuánta paciencia tiene, verdad? Creo que aquí está, no, no, no sé si le incluye acá, no. How much patience, verdad? How much time? Eh, how much happiness? How much honesty? Que nos hace mucho falta en el, en el mundo, verdad? La honestidad. Honesty. Honesty. Eh, uh, let's see. How much peace, verdad? Cuánta paz, verdad? Paz. Peace. Um, and then how much knowledge, verdad? Cuánto conocimiento? How much? Ok. Mm. Esto es algo bien abstracto, ¿verdad? Que en realidad en el día a día no lo ocupamos, pero es bueno saber. <risa> es mejor tenerlo y no usarlo, mm -hmm. y no usarlo y no tenerlo. Exactamente. <risa> All right. So that's basically, it. entonces por eso que en este ejercicio, Mr. Cabrera, mm -hmm. el, el, the thing was, usted le va a agregar, you have to add a, an or the, or the opposite, o lo opuesto, you have to delete everything, o, o está de más la palabra. Por mm -hmm. ejemplo, uh, en milk, number three. Usted no va a decir, I bought a milk. Pero sí puede decir, I bought a gallon of milk. ¿Verdad? Ya le agrega una medida. Uh -huh. okay. mm. Pero en realidad la palabra usted va a decir, I y si usted quiere ser un poquito más picky, va a decir, I bought some milk. Los nativos así lo ocupan, I bought some milk. Y lo ocupan solamente porque así se acostumbraron desde chiquitos. Oh. I bought some milk, I need some water, I need, I need some coffee. Y uno suena mejor. Ok. All right, you should do it, all right? Deberíamos ocuparlo nosotros. Ok. Debería. <laughs> yes, sir, we should, we should. Um, y aquí estaban en contexto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por si se fija, la palabra subrayada son palabras contables y la parte B eran incontables, ¿verdad? If you have the document with you over there. How many brothers? How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many students? How many pets? Todos tienen el común denominador que son plurales. Mm -hmm. Those are plurals. You know, how many glasses of water did you drink today? Pero el caso contrario, quizás ya tenemos dos minutos todavía, así que no hay problema. Okay. The opposite, the opposite would be this. Take a look. Aquí está lo incontable. Mire, todos son en forma singular. You see? Mm -hmm. Pero no significa que no, no, no represente más de una cosa. Por ejemplo, number seven, los muebles. How much furniture is there in your living room? ¿Cuántos muebles tiene en su sala de estar? Mm. ¿Verdad? ¿Y, y qué va a ocupar usted? How much. All right? How, How much. much. 
All right. How much? Eh, el tiempo, verdad? How much time do you usually spend to come to class? O cuánto usted invierte manejando o en el transporte para llegar a su, a su casa sería, verdad? Porque en casa recibe. Uh -huh, en casa, uh -huh. Entonces. Eh, okay, water. How much water did you drink today, verdad? En la parte contable yo le pregunté cuántos vasos, ¿verdad? Mire, how uh -huh. many glasses of water? ¿Verdad? Vasos de agua. En este Vasos caso, de agua. Yo le pregunto cuánta agua tomo. How much water. Es lo mismo, pero preguntado de una forma distinta o alterna. ¿Verdad? Y en el caso, en el caso de inglés, eh, las traducciones literales no aplican, me imagino. No, no. Porque el vaso de agua y el vaso con agua. Ajá, no, 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 ahí no. It's a different. No, that's a different thing, right? That's a different. Es como el, el huevo y la gallina, eso. <risa> It's basically, yeah, okay. difficult to answer. Uh, pero yo creo que con eso ya quedamos un poquito más claro, ¿verdad? Mr. Mr. Yes, yes. I think es we're, que we're good now. Cuando okay. entré a, a, a las... Yesterday. Uh, no, no, no. Today. Yes. And the... the... Ah, se me ha ido la palabra. Uh, baker rooms. Ah, the break rooms, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I have a problem you for, didn't connection, practice with, with, for with... connection, the practice. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Susana and Carmen, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't see you practicing. You know. De hecho, no lo vi practicar, pero sí, me imagino que tenía problemas. Entonces, sí, estaba, estaba, les mm -hmm. había escrito a ellas. Mm -hmm. Les dije que si, si algo pasaba, que, que le comentaran que, que mm -hmm. tenía problemas de connection. Okay. Porque igual lo, lo, lo escribí al chat. Mm -hmm. Sí. Yo como no soy multitasking, ¿verdad? No. <risa> Me cuesta. Entonces, ahí, pero igual, yo lo, lo, lo miro, ahí está lo que me han caído. ¿Cuál es su terminación? O lo escribí 30, en el 3088. Ok. All right. So 37, I have it here. 77, 30, 88. 88, all right. Uh, let's see. Ah, but you also sent it to the to the Zoom chat, right? También lo envió al, al Zoom, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So with this, uh, we finished the breaker room, sir. I got to say thank, thank you, you for staying here. Uh, the attitude is, is the one that counts. Like, tú to cuenta mucho, a pesar de, ¿verdad? De los problemas. <laughs> Ahí estamos. Thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. Hope to see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, teacher. All right. Goodbye.